Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 3. Or er, 6. Yes, Final Fantasy 6. So today is going to be a plot heavy day. Anyway, what was I going to say? I had a prepared statement. It's only about optimization and how this game is easy enough that it doesn't demand it to the extent that other games I've played like to have. I'm still going to do a certain amount of optimization, but it's not going to be quite like I did in Final Fantasy V Advance, for example, where I ignored many, many entire jobs for being uh, suboptimal. In this game, I'm going to try and make use of all the characters, and rather than optimizing them toward the single objective of being interchangeable Ultima bots, I'm going to try and play to each character's intended strengths. Well, may not intended strengths, but obvious strengths. Like, Terra's a magic user, she's going to be using magic. Locke is a thief, he's going to be using weapons. The speed stat doesn't matter much in this game. Wait! Hey, oh, it's you, proceed. Because, uh, you're never gonna get enough speed that one character is taking two turns to every other character taking one. Let me see the king! No. Beyond is the Figaro Castle engine room. We're ready to leave at a moment's notice. That's dangerous. Now, this looks like there's some secret here, but as far as I can tell, there's nothing here. I just get stopped. The thieves have these thieves have been terrorized in the vicinity. Stay away from them. And I can't even go in to talk to them. But hey, look, there's a wolf, reference to Final Fantasy V that I didn't get when I was playing this as a kid because I had no access to Final Fantasy V. So, you know, it's just a random werewolf. Oh hey, stuff! Soft. So in this game, gold is much less a problem. Gold pieces, yeah. It is much less a problem than it was in Final Fantasy V or B4. Alright, I'm gonna get a free auto crossbow, so I'm gonna just grab a bio blaster and... Why do I have so much gold? Hold on. Sorry about that. Let's see here. My gold is normal. My equipment is normal. So I had a playthrough where I'd already beaten the game and was just messing around with some cheats to, you know, have all the Illuminas, for example. It looks like I didn't turn the cheats off. It doesn't look like it, but this castle incorporates some of the most high-tech devices in existence. For example, oops, they're all top secret. Anyway, yeah, so on the emulator I hadn't turned the cheats off. And when I went to buy stuff, it set my gold to the maximum value. So I turned the cheats off, and, uh... At least I'm pretty sure I turned the cheats off. Yeah. And so now... Yeah. Even though gold isn't much of a problem in this game... After a certain point, at least... It is still a limiting factor, 
and I want to at least, you know, play legitimately in that, in most regards. Oh, hey, a phoenix down, how nice. Go see the king. Go see the king. All right, all right. You mean this young woman? Who do you think you are? Oh, sorry. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady. The young king of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire and a master designer of machinery. I am Edgar, King of Figaro. Surprised someone like me knows a king? Talk to you later. So, you're an Imperial soldier? No problem. Figaro and the Empire are allies. Please, relax while you're here. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Look, why are you helping me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would be a distant third. What's with you anyway? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Huh. I suppose a normal girl would have found him dashing. But I'm hardly... normal. Feel free to wander about. Will do. Will do. When I was a kid, I couldn't figure out how to get back here, and I was convinced that there was some kind of massive secret. But, you know, I kept trying to go in through the curtain. But that doesn't work. Curtains are immobile and sturdy as stone, you see. I don't know why I'm, uh, wandering on back there. I heard the Empire's using something called magic. Gestalt has harnessed the power of magic. Who can stop him now? So one of the things that I loved about these early RPGs was there was always something to look forward to. One of the things I still love about these early RPGs. Like, a lot of more modern RPGs, looking at you, Shin Megami Tensei 5, most of the stuff that I look forward to is packed at the back end of the game. Need a rest? Sure, I'll rest. Edgar showers his attentions on women. Most are too smart to pay any attention to him. He recently tried to hit on the High Priestess. Surely he's talked to you? This is Figaro, the Desert Castle. This is Figaro, the Desert Castle. As you can see, they've already run out of ideas for things to have NPCs say, and this isn't nearly as many NPCs as later games start having. His Highness said he'd marry me when I get older. Creepy. The Empire has smashed the three cities on the southern continent, just a matter of time until they come up here. Edgar has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. Brother, what's wrong with father? What's all this talk of a successor? Are you blind? Look how thin his face has become. What is it? Brother! I'm gonna have to find another voice for him. Tears. 
Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Yes, his name is Sabin. Oh, he looked so like his father. When he ran away, he was a sweet little child. I wonder what he's like now. So apparently that matron in other translations is the high priestess. The first time I played this game, I spent so much time wandering around trying to find the high priestess because, you know, this castle supposedly has one. The most modern structure in the world. Scholars the world over are doing research on magic. Silly people, scholars. You look like you're a scholar yourself. Long ago, a force called magic existed. People who used magic were called mage knights. Good to know. Alright, let's see. This is Figaro, the desert castle. Gee, thanks, you're the third person to tell me that. Thanks. Let's stop to admire the animation on those spinning blades for a bit. Okay, that's long enough. Weapons and items manufactured here are sent to South Figaro. That... When I was a kid, I swallowed that without questioning, but... Nowadays, I'm like... You manufacture things at the castle and send them to the town where the workers are. That seems backwards to me. Then again, Edgar is royalty who actually does something of value. Alright. The whole business of the succession was so repugnant to Sabin, the king's brother, that he fled the castle forever. The succession was settled with a coin toss. I heard the Empire is using something called magic. Okay, so I guess I've already heard from you two. Okay, so after I sleep, you're back here. Well, how do you like my castle? King Edgar, someone from the Empire to see you. Probably Kafka. Fooey, Emperor Gestalt's stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead, why do you have to live in the middle of nowhere? These recon jobs are the pits. Ahem, there's sand on my boots. Yes, sir, all set, sir. Idiots! Sir Kefka, what on earth do- Out of my way! Alright, and so now I'm playing... Edgar. I thought we were allies. What are you doing in my domain? You've been busy down south, looking for more cities to destroy? That's for us to know. What brings Kefka, humble servant of Emperor Gestal, into our lovely presence? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found a refuge here. Hmm, this wouldn't have anything to do with this witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She nearly stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. You see, there are more girls here than grains of sand out there. I can't keep track of them all. I'd hate to be you if we found out you're lying. Haha. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. I'd say that guy's missing a few buttons. Where's Terra? Take her to her room. I'd love to chat with you, but the Chancellor and I must plan our strategy. Sometimes I hate being a king, if you'll excuse me. Follow me! Aha, what if I get in front of you? Oh no! I stepped down too far. 
and missed my chance, and now I shall forever be behind you. And now you're gone. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll... You're Locke, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? That's treasure hunter! On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. The truth is, he's collaborating with the Returners, an organization opposed to the Empire. I am his contact with that group. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us. Empire? But I'm a soldier of the Empire. That's not true. They were using you. Things are different now. I don't understand. What should I do? I can't tell you what to do. You don't have to decide right now. You'll soon find your way. But how will I know which way is right? What the? The stone is on fire. Must be some kind of chemical fire. What's happening? It's the Empire. It's Kafka. What are you doing? Fire! Fire! Get ready. Yes, sir. Oh, crud, I was supposed to talk to Kefka first. Change your mind? I guess I have no choice. Or maybe I do. Ah, shameful that a king should flee, leaving his people behind. How utterly delightful. Jump! For some reason, I thought that talking to Kefka would cause the scene to proceed. Okay, dive now! Yahoo! But yeah. I'm pretty sure they didn't just, you know, throw... Figaro submerged while engaged! Fire onto this. I love those little tracks in the sand for where the castle connects to itself. Withdraws. No one can touch the people of Figaro! Boss time. This boss is going to be easier than the Marshal, though. Okay, so steel. I'm going to use the Noise Blaster to confuse them. And I'm just going to throw some fire on them. Physical attacks will cause them to uh, stop being confused. But guess what's not a physical attack? Edgar, what's the matter? You look positively spooked. Did, did you see what? Just see what I saw? Yeah, this kid. This kid seems loaded for bear. She's amazing. That was magic. 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 She used magic. Tara, where on earth did you learn that? Sorry, I. Um. Look, I didn't mean to make such a big deal of this. Me either. It's just that I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... Edgar, Tara can use magic and we can't. That's the only difference between us. The fact is, we could use her help. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Edgar. The way this conversation turns out with the thank yous at the end there... Stop swooning! kind of confuses me, and the, uh, uh, translation on Final Fantasy VI doesn't help clear it up any to me.
Yay! Got two potions. Bravo, Figaro! Son of a submariner! They'll pay for this! This is great! Was that a bad person? I... I'm scared. Tara, there's someone I'd like you to meet. We're members of the Returners. Our mentor, Bannon, would certainly like to meet you. Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic. Terra has magical powers. That Esper seemed to react to her. Can there be some connection? I haven't the foggiest. It just seems natural to me that I have the use of this power. But no human is born with the powers you seem to have, and... Oh, hey, look at Edgar there. I apologize. What should I do? I'm sure the Empire is going to come after you. If they get their hands on you again, the world's finished. Terra, you want to understand your own powers, right? Then I think we need to consult with Bannon. Please. Okay, to the south there's a cave that leads to South Figaro. And that's where I'm going to leave off. Here's the cave. Hi, Chocobo. So I'm gonna save here. Oh, right. And sort my items. And equip with the Mithril Pike. Even though he's not going to use it ever. Alright. And that's it for today. Join me next time when I enter this cave. I will see you then.